Welcome back to our continuing playthrough of Colonial Twilight. And let's get right into it. No fooling around. Let's start with our next card. And lo and behold, it's our next propaganda card. The second of three. Alright, well, tell you what. Rather than bore you with uh, me uh, going through basically a bookkeeping phase here, I'm just going to go ahead and edit it out. And we'll, we'll return here when it's all done, said and done. We'll review it. And there we are. Not much to say. Uh, I was able to do a little pacifying and get my commitment plus support up to 31. So we're only four off from our victory possibilities here. But I assume that's going to go down pretty hard uh, in the next rounds. Uh, not much. Whoops. That guy needs to flip. Like so. Other than that, not a whole lot to say. I uh, got plenty of resources this time around. I think we're really ready to get going with the third and final campaign. And so here we go. Ban bananas. <laughs> the FLN are going to go on a terror spree. All right. So let's start counting them off. Terror here. Boom. Nux support out of there. Puts a little terror on there. Reduces my... What is my support? Well, one, two. And that's one space. Here's another. <clears throat> Spin for that. Reduces. Dunk. Terror marker here. And that's my support and commitment down. One, two again. All right, where else? Mm. Right here. Boom. So, see, I knew this was going to happen. Terror. Next set down. One, two. As you can see, we're going way down now. Uh, I think that's all that you can do there. But because it's the final campaign round, he's also going to do it in... Neutral and pacifiable where there's no terror uh, to keep me from being able to build up again. So he's going to do it here. Boom. That stays neutral. But it gets a terror marker, making it harder to pacify. Or more expensive, that is. And that's going to knock me down to 23, man. Got a lot of work to do. Get all that back up. All right. I think that is all the terror that's going to happen. And finally, he's going to subvert. And so, he's going to... Those two guys. Right? Like so. And there's nowhere else he can do it. It's going to be the end of that. And this is going to flip to... FLN control. Well. So, that was his move. He did the op and the special activity. And that leaves me with either an event or a limited op. Uh, this... Momentum. I got a momentum card. I don't know if it's the airlift. Uh, I, I can just do a little more. I don't know if that's really worth it. Let me think if it's better than just doing a limited op. I'm going to do the limited op. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to place three Algerian troops in here with the train operation. That'll give us government control. That will allow us to pacify, I do believe. I don't know why it wouldn't. Um, we have a base there. So, yes, we're going to spend four resources. One, two, three, four. To knock out that terror and bring us back on the support wagon. And bump our score up back to 25. Okay, that'll be our limited op. And first eligible. Uh, no. I'm first eligible, and then second I will go eligible. And on to the next card. Stravy Hole. Okay. Let me think about it right here. And this is a this is one where I think I'm actually going to take this event. S activate all gorillas in any sector set to oppose. And I'm going to go up here and do it right here. That's going to set them all to active. And because it's already set to oppose, I don't care about that part. And 
now that forces him to either rally and get those guys upside down again, or I go in and, and start thumping skulls. All right, so that's my move. Execute event. What is the FLN going to do? Yeah, we're going to march. The FLN is going to march, and I've reduced the number of marches here. Kind of narrowed the field down. We're going to march. We're going to march. Ah, I'm keep doodling with my pawns here. And we're going to move one in here to remove government control. Make that neutral. Three to three. And um, these down. All right, that's one. One march. Let's see if there's any more. And for my last march is to um, get into a zero population that's not resettled. I'm going to go ahead and march there. Uh, I'm going to march these guys from here. They are going to go. They cannot avoid detection, but that's okay. And that is the end of that march. That is all the marches they can do. Which leaves, where do they do after they march? Uh, they're going to subvert again, and so they're just going to do the same thing we've been doing, just kind of going back and forth with these guys here, and uh, removing control there. All right. A little bit of a game of, <laughs> uh, you remove them, and I put them back. A little bit of whack-a-mole, I guess. So that means they have done the op and special activity. That means I'll be first eligible on the next card. Well, I didn't even do anything with that. Oh, I can go in there. Yeah, I like that pro prospect. Hmm. Integration. Free train in up to two selectable spaces. Mm hmm. Think about that. Well, I was getting all hepped up to clear out and knock out a base here, but I can't bring enough forces to do it. And it would be foolish of me to go over there and just knock out the two gorillas because they're just going to rally and put them back. So I would be wasting resources. So it looks like I got to do kind of a sweep action here, I do believe. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sweep here. One, two. I'm going to pop these two guys in here. Expose that one. I'm setting myself up for another move here. Uh, we're also going to sweep. Uh, I'm not sure how I should do this. Uh, I'm going to sweep in place here. Oh, actually, I'm going to bring one guy in like this, and you'll see why later. But I'm going to sweep these guys. And that'll cost me two. One, two. And, oh, dear. Um... And... Go ahead, because I know I can lose support here, is I'm going to sweep there. One, two, and now he's got to come up with a plan if he wants to terrorize me. All right, I think that's all the sweeping I will do. Now I get to do a special op if I want. Uh, now that I think about it, I'm only going to op. I'm going to do the op only option, and that leaves him only a limited op. And I like it. That's my move. All right, with his limited op, I found one place where uh, he can march. He's going to march here and turn this into FLN control. Uh, that's his move. All right, I'm second eligible. He's first eligible on the next card, which is Paranoia. So the FLN going through the wormy uh, <laughs> uh, flowchart. I'm going to rally at the French track and kick it back here. What else? Interestingly enough, I left myself open over here, leaving him free to agitate, which he will, and remove support. And my support drops by two, one, two. Not good. I didn't like that. We can also rally here. For one, which is going to revert FLN control here now. Not so hot. I'm making good moves on me. And finally, he's going to subvert. I can remove him and him. That is his. Execute op and special activity, leaving me with the event or a limited op.
Well, with my limited op, I am going to one, two, and train here, and put three cubes here. One, two, three, four, five versus four. That will revert control back to me. Uh, that's a train, uh, but I can't pacify there, so we're not going to. It's already at support. And that is my move. Boom. I'll be first eligible on the next card. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and stop there. Still marching along in this last campaign. We'll see how I'm doing. I'm not doing so hot on my support there. I got a long way to crawl here. But thanks for watching.